As we are gradually moving into the festive season, it's about time to start unveiling a beautiful and unique hairstyle. So I thought of sharing this one that I made on my toddler. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing this beautiful DIY ponytail hairstyle. I'm going to be using expression products. This is the pre-stretched one. I'm going to be cutting that into two with this band. I'm also going to be making use of beads and hair accessories. So this is a tumbler. I am not doing any sewing. Just stick around and see the process. I added my band to the tumbler and I cut the expression into two because I'm not going to be making the braids so long like that. Trimmed it out just to form like a pencil mouth. So I went ahead to take a little quantity that I want. If you want your own bigger, you can add more to that. But this is just the size that I want. And I'll just go ahead to braid around the ribbon. So like you can see in the video, I just added my tumbler to a stand and then I included the hairband and I started braiding on the hairband. So I'm going to be repeating this process over and over again until the braid goes round the band. I try as much as possible to make you see the process and make the video self-explanatory like I always try to do. But if you still have any questions for me, please drop them in the comment section and I'm going to be reacting to that. I'm also going to be dropping the list of all the products that I use for this hairstyle in the description box. So feel free to check it out after this video. Please stick around. There is more to this video. After braiding around the band, there is more to this video. Please do not be in a hurry. If you're new on my page, if you're new on my channel, I make protective hairstyles for kids. I share hairstyles that I make for my toddler here on my channel and protective um, hair growth that you can also apply to make your hair grow in some other fashion vlog as well. Please do not be in a hurry. Watch this video to the end. And if you're new on my channel, kindly subscribe to this channel. You're going to be loving it here. And for my returning subscriber, thank you so very much. Thank you for always coming back. After I was done with braiding round, I went ahead to trim, trim and trim to make sure that everything is smooth. Put it into a bowl and I put hot water. That is hot water going on there. Like I'm pouring hot water into it just to make it slick, you know, just like the normal way we do the braids. So that's the same process here. Drying it out with a towel and allowing it to dry off before adding my accessories. So, if you want to see how I added the accessories, stick around. I used the normal crochet pin to attach the beads to the hair. So to make it easy for me, I include all the beads, the colors that I want, before giving it a knot at the tip of the hair. In order for it not to fall off, I had to knot it at the end. I braided one hair longer than the rest so that when I'm installing into my daughter's hair, I'm going to be wrapping it around her hair just to conceal some parts. Don't worry, you're going to be seeing the magic. In my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next one.